okay, we're going to do something that um, I'm not planning on doing much of, but I think it would be a good idea to talk about this maybe a little bit. Um, and that's how to write an essay. How do you write an essay? What What's a good idea? Well, there are many. I'm going to give you my idea. Um, and take it or leave it, really, I suppose. Let's talk about kind of what's going on first. That was suddenly a lot of stuff to appear on the page, wasn't it? Um, so we're looking at specifically the OCR course here, and I want to talk about their expectations. What is it that they want to happen? And once, once we've got an idea of the expectations, we'll then come across here to the plan. So the expectations. Let's start with kind of the basics. There's two things. There's AO1 and AO2. AO1 is Assessment Objective 1 and it's Knowledge-Based Marks. AO2, Assessment Objective 2, is Evaluation Stuff. So what kind of stuff do they want you to do in AO1? This is extremely broadly from the mark scheme, but extremely broadly. That's important. They want you to do things like answer the question. Now that sounds pretty obvious. What they don't what they don't want to see, really, is they don't want to see you going in there with a completely pre-planned essay. Um, they want to see you sit down, read the question, and then genuinely answer it. Um, also, you want to be looking at a great selection of material. As you look through the um, uh, the syllabus, you'll see that uh, they list kind of the main names in the top boxes, and then, then at the bottom, kind of wider reading. And I, I suggest that you kind of have a look at that as well. The other thing you'll want is detailed knowledge. Now, hopefully, as we go on in the course, you will get detailed knowledge. I will do my best not to just tell you the basics, but to really kind of fill out other things. Also technical terms, things like a priori, a posteriori, oh, technical, interesting spelling. Uh, thankfully, wow, I clearly can't spell technical. This is spectacular. Technical terms, uh, things like a priori, a posteriori, deductive, inductive, and then any specific things for specific areas. And scholars. You should really mention quite a few scholars, as many as you can. Let's look at AO2. This is where the majority of your marks are, the evaluation side. Here, again, and I can't stress this enough, answer the question. Answer it. Answer it now. Even if you don't have it, answer the question. Answer the question question. What do you need to do? Okay, it got annoying for me too. I'll stop, I promise. So you answer this by also stating your opinion. And don't, I mean, you can, you can get your marks by by um, being nuanced, but try not to be as well. Try to be very clear, you know, you think this theory works or it doesn't work. Um, when you state your opinion, you state it and you stick to it. You really don't want to change your opinion halfway through. Before you put you, your um, pen to paper, you need to know exactly what you are arguing for. And that brings us on to our next point. Argue successfully. So that is convincingly. When I talk about successfully, what I mean is, don't tell me why you think something is the case. Tell me why you think I should think something is the case when I don't agree with you. So to argue successfully for your uh, for for your opinion for it, uh, referring to opinion, um, you you need to try to convince your reader. You need to do it throughout the essay. That's why keeping the same opinion is really important. You need to do lots of analysis and evaluation. In other words. You need to examine the other side of the issue, the arguments against your position, and you need to show me not just what they are, but why they are wrong and why you are right. 
So those are some of the OCR expectations. Let's now talk about a plan. And I cannot say it enough answer the question. That's not what I was going to say, but I also can't say that enough. I can't say this enough. This is just my idea. I'm not an examiner. I can't tell you this will get you X number of marks. I just think this is a good way of thinking about essays generally, and, and really quite applicable to a whole range of different things. Even at university, um, this can be really useful. Here it is. These boxes are not proportional. Um, we're going to start with the introduction. I, I really want to focus on the introduction because it's really where you set out your stall in terms of the essay. It's where you say what you're going to talk about. And you start with this. You start with, I'm going to put this in a different colour, I think, your opinion. Now I've got to remember that colour. So you, you start with your opinion in response to the uh, in response to the question okay so notice how you've actually hit several of the kind of points we need to hit here specifically and most importantly you got it answer the question and you've given your opinion but that's not enough that's not a successful argument how can you turn this into a successful argument well Luckily, I'm going to tell you. What you need to do next is you need to give, and I'm going to indent this, I think, you need to give uh, reasons why your opinion is correct. I'm going to say reason one. At least two. Uh, reason one, kind of why you're right, why you're opinion is right I really set myself quite a, um, a color changing challenge here and then and then again uh, again for reason two you want to do the same thing there for reason two uh, so the same as up here um, and then and then you might even want to do this. This is what I would do anyway. At the end, I would then state again why reason one plus reason two mean that your opinion is correct. That is your essay's argument. Or another way of putting it to remember this is O-R-R. -R. Or opinion, reason, reason. Nice. Oh, I've uh, just rubbed out the end there. Okay, let's move on to the main essay. So this is where you establish uh, you know, why why your reasons, reason one and reason two, are correct. They might be your main focus. Reason one might be something like, you know, this argument for your opinion is really successful. Reason two might be like, this criticism is completely wrong. These sorts of things. So, you might start in, you know, in, in one paragraph by saying, you know, reason one, whatever it is, obviously you don't call it reason one, um, means that uh, your opinion is correct. It's not enough just to assert it, though, is it? You need to tell me why. So you then need to tell me why reason one is right. Okay. So why reason one is right. So that might be giving one of the arguments or whatever. Then to get to your analysis and evaluation, you might want to look at an objection. Put that objection in red. Objection uh, to uh, reason one. 
I couldn't resist adding another colour in, could I? Um, so objection to reason one. And then, of course, you want to tell me you can't just leave it hanging there. If you leave that hanging there, then you're saying, oh, you know, this is really good objection to my belief. Uh, anyway, no, you need you need to tell me why that objection is wrong. So why the objection, why the objection is wrong. Okay, so now what you've done is you've told me why your reason supports your opinion, why your reason is correct, you've examined an objection to your reason, and you've shown me why that objection is wrong, and now you might end kind of as you began with what your reason is, oh, sorry, as an O, honest, what your reason is, and then why it leads to your opinion, which of course is in the words of the question, so you are continuing to answer the question. And then you want to kind of repeat this, uh, repeat again for reason two. Reason two is really not getting a look in in the plan, is it? Poor reason two. Uh, reason two, or reason three, or whatever, however many reasons you have. But you repeat this, and these form the main paragraphs of your essay. And then in conclusion, finally, you're going to kind of restate your introduction, but in a new and interesting way. You're going to tell me why you thought reason one was correct. Very briefly. And why you thought reason two was correct. And why it is that they both lead to the conclusion that your opinion must be correct. So that's just one way in which you can frame an essay that meets most of the expectations over here.